If you want to do outside anything outside of just winning this week, what would you want to focus on? You just want to win all five games. You did this week. Just kind of talk to me about the week as a whole and uh, what your thoughts were on today. Uh, it was it was good. It just was a bunch of different ways to win games too. Uh, there was a couple uh, you know, against Dayton. I think we, we you know we played a real small ball type of game on. Uh, Wednesday to win a game. We, we scored some runs on Tuesday before that to win. And then this weekend was the same thing where we, we play a really tight game last night, have a big two run home run on the bottom of the seventh, I believe, and, and to get us to lead for good. And then we put up a ton of runs on the first game today. And then we uh, just kind of keep leaning on them the third game of the series, keep leaning on them. And, and you know, over the course of nine innings, we're able to put up seven runs, but don't have a big inning at any point in the game. Just keep leaning on them, putting pressure on them. And that's. What a baseball team should look like offensively is, is what we what we did the last uh, last three games. That's kind of what we need to do, um, and hopefully uh, that's a sign of things to come. It's kind of evaluate your weekend starts made the most consistent weekend across the board for the, for the starters. Yeah, it was, the, the pitching this weekend was was really good. Shane was about how he's been, um, but 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 really good. Uh, almost throws a complete game, and then that was awesome for Zach Spears to, to do what he did in the first game. I mean, he was dominant. It wasn't good. He was dominating those guys. That was good. Uh, really good to see out of him. He needed a start like that. And then Grant was good. You know, Grant uh, and, and Grant's had a couple outings where it wasn't quite as sharp as some other ones, so that was good to see Grant back up there and, and throw the ball well, for sure. And some nice appearance of the bullpen as well, maybe the most important maybe for you to just see was Ryan Marston out there today. Yeah. Clean and just kind of talk about what he's been through. Yeah, well, I, I I know I I wanted to try and make sure I gave him a fist bump when he came in there. That was or when he came came off the field and got three outs. I know he's he's been through a long run of, of trying to get back, trying to get back, trying to get back, and hopefully he's he's at a point now where he can uh, he can throw and, and we'll we'll see tomorrow how, how that shoulder feels on him. But he's a senior trying to do anything he can do to get back on the mound, and uh, it was it was awesome to see him go out there and get three outs today. I, I imagine the guys are riding pretty high right now, but you guys have a lot of focus going into next week and then going back into conference. What was the message after the game? Maybe just Guys going into next week. Told him we got one of the All Classic, man. <laughs> we got the All Classic. I haven't won it since uh, since I've been here, so we got a we got two big games this midweek to focus on, and, and we got to try to do everything we can do to win Tuesday and Wednesday. So hey, when you're winning, you want to keep doing it, and that's uh, I think I think our guys get like we talked about yesterday, start believing in each other a little bit, and believe we can we can get on a uh, on an extended winning streak. Um, and, but we can't we can't do that unless we take care of business Tuesday. So we got to go one and zero Tuesday and. Uh, when the Nuxie. Appreciate it, Coach. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. He's out there. That ball got a little bit more on the plate than he wanted, but popped up to the right side. Moving over is the right fielder and the center fielder. They run into each other, and the ball drops away. Here comes Haffey around third. He will score. Center fielder is down hurt as Hartwig will go all the way to third base. Payoff pitch. Swung on and drilled by Stevens down the left field line. That's going to get a run home. It's going to one-hop the wall. Stevens around first on his way to second. So a stand-up RBI double for Landon Stevens gives Miami a 2-0 lead. Oh, they had him picked off. What a great move that was by the left-hander, Spears. And he's able to pick off Zach Wright at first base, who was leaning the other way. There goes Texador. And Hall swings and hits it inside the third base bag. It's a fair ball. With Texador's speed, he's going to score. Texador rounds third. He'll score easily. Hall on his way to second. And Miami extends their lead to three to nothing. Again, this one poked down the right field line. That one is going to be trouble as it's a fair ball. Bounces away from Amanu into the corner. And Landon Stevens will drive in Hartwig and it's seven nothing. Quickly working is Spears. That one is a high hopper right back to Spears on the mound. He'll underhand toss to Ross Happy to retire the side. And Harris turns on that one and hits it well to left. Back goes the left fielder Hinchcliffe looking up, and it is gone. And Haffey drives that one down the right field line. That's trouble. That's going to get all the way to the wall. On the run is Yasek, rounding third. They're going to send him the throw to the cutoff man. His throw home is going to get there late. It's going to be an RBI. And that one is roped up the middle. Harris puts another good swing on a ball. Spears ready. Swung on and missed. Strikeout number nine for Zach Spears. Pitch to Stevens. Swung on and drilled towards left, and that's a no-doubter. That's out of here for Stevens. His second home run is he got a pitch down and in, and he pulled and yanked it. Hinchcliffe didn't even move as that ball was out of here in a hurry off the bat of Landon Stevens, 
And Miami has extended their lead to 11 to two to Texador. Inside, and he rips it down the line. That's gonna go into the left field corner. That'll score Sanger from second. And they're gonna hold everybody else. And Sanger drives that one into the corner down the left field line. And one hops against the wall. And that ball hit on the ground wide of third. Yasek, a nice play to grab it and throw out and Arnold. Here's the pitch. And he lifts that one into short right field. That's going to fall for a base hit for Texador. He's pitch from Ernst is a called strike three on the corner to end the end. The pitch to Yasek. He turns on it and drives it down into the left field corner. It's going to one hop the wall. Yasek around first, headed to second, and he will stride into second. And that back up the middle for a base hit by Haffey. They're going to send Yasek. He's around third. Here comes the throw. It's going to be cut off, and Yasek scores. Here's the 0-1. Swung on and hit towards the left side. It's going to be fielded by Yasek. The throw across the diamond in time. 